Okay, welcome to this week's episode of Love Subbing, and we are in week four of our stay at home order here exactly, in Vermont. Exactly, but we get to walk around and exercise, so that's what we're doing right now. Yep, and so when we were thinking, you know, we started this YouTube channel about a year and a half ago. Seriously. And we, yep, we've posted videos every single week, so if you've not watched all of them, uh, check out some of the other ones on our channel. But we have a lot of memories from before we've, we started. We've been airstreaming for 18 years. Exactly, and we have experienced it, almost everything. Yeah, we've broken almost everything at one point in time. We have been to some really places that have terrified us. And some Not really terrified us, but... Uh, the dry, we'll, we'll talk about that a little <laughs> bit. The point of this video is to kind of do some reminiscing. Right, and we were just looking back at some of our Airstream experiences before our YouTube channel. And I hope you enjoy them. Yep, let's dive right into it. So speaking of getting out of our comfort zone, driving into Jersey City outside of New York City really did that. Yeah, this was Tomageddon at its worst. I mean, this was crazy. At one point, we had to stop four lanes of traffic just to make the right turn or we were going into the Holland Tunnel. Right. The, park, the campground is nothing more than a parking lot, but you'll be rewarded later on with the views. Exactly, and the access to New York City. In fact, the tow was so crazy, I was so nervous about it that I actually got onto Google Maps and completely went through the entire tow virtually before doing it. And I think I had every device known to man to help navigate as well. iPads, maps. But after doing it ourselves a few times, we ended up with a group of friends at the Danbury rest stop the night before. Right. It was a fun place to meet up. And there we are going across the Tappan Sea Bridge, the old one, not the new one. And this is one of my favorite pictures ever taken air streaming because it's so different. Instead of trees and beautiful mountains, it's yeah. a very urban setting. Yeah, really super cool. That's what you get rewarded with. And going into another country is also getting out of your comfort zone. Yeah, and we took ours to Canada to Quebec City. It was a beautiful little ferry going across St. Lawrence River, right, the, right outside of the campground. Yep, right there to the Hotel Frontenac, also known as the Canadian Pavilion Hotel at Epcot. And it's just like being in another country, everybody spoke French. Of course, I tried to speak German. Right, why? <laughs> we don't know. But hey, even for a Vermonter, that's a sweet way to start your morning toe back. Little mini donuts and some maple syrup. Also, putting it on a ferry was a challenge as well. It was a very tight fit. They would try to jam you in as close as possible. Yeah, and as you can see here, it was so nerve-wracking getting it off the ferry because coming out of here, I had to make a quick turn to the right to leave the center ramp. Even going home wasn't that much better, even though we were outside and it was super nice. But it was a beautiful state park that we stayed at and we were able to visit all of the Long Island wineries and have a great wine tasting. Absolutely gorgeous. So we also had a couple of challenges that we endured as well that made us some interesting memories. Absolutely. Here we are outside the Airstream factory. And usually when you show up at the factory, it's never a good thing. And in this case, our frame cracked. And that was a common problem with the 22 foot Airstreams from this time period. But man, Airstream did us right. And they really, the quality of the workmanship and how they dealt with us. Yes, it was awesome. Made us really glad we had an Airstream. And it's never fun to see your little Airstream taken away. With the tow vehicle of shame. Aww. Yes, it was fun seeing Wally Byam's gold Airstream as well. Kind yeah. of iconic, right? Absolutely. We saw all kinds of cool Airstreams. We de-winterized, we slept the night, and then the next day we woke up to this. Yeah, that was not fun. And it was below freezing temperatures and it was windy too. So we couldn't go on the highway very easily. They were warning us off the highway. We don't normally tow in the snow, but look at the little love sub covered in road grime and dirt. It was horrible. Right. But at least we did get this cool little frozen artwork on the wheel. So when we went down to Disney World with our little caravan, we also had a couple of challenges too. There was 22 inches of rain fell in one day in Columbia, South Carolina. I-95 was underwater. Exactly. A few of our caravanners got soaked. Mm. But we eventually made it to Disney World. And I tell you what, everybody should at least spend some time in your RV at Fort Wilderness. So if there's a good phrase that says that nothing will break if you don't use it, but we use our Airstream. And we break lots of stuff. So here's just a quick little survey of the stuff we've broken over the years. And this 
is like one of the grossest challenges we've ever had to overcome. Don't be this guy ever who doesn't have a long enough sewer hose. Yeah. That so he just pulls the valve. And let it rut. And I'm next in line and I've got to go, oh, it was hard. Don't be this guy. Yes. So we have some of our favorite places that we like to go to. Yeah, and it's always good to have one favorite place and ours is Bar Harbor and Acadia National Park. Yes, we go back there time every after year, time. Every year. Yeah. And it, the scenery is just gorgeous. This campground was right on the water and you couldn't ask for anything more except for me trying to mountain climb. <laughs> <laughs> we did one summer trip in which we tried to hit every seafood shack that we could find along the main coast. Right. It was super fun. Yeah, that was fun. So we also enjoy t attending festivals and you could see one of them in our videos with the Vidalia Onion but this was a bluegrass festival in the middle of a field. It was just simply gorgeous. And I want to encourage everyone to do these festivals, do the boondocking, get out your generator, you don't need hookups all the time, fill with water, it really is a fun experience to just kind of stay right off the land like that. Right. That was a lot of fun. And she even got to participate. And this is the Finger Lakes Wine Festival. We went there, what, 10 years in a row, probably? I think so. We've got a video, one of our first videos that we ever posted to YouTube. And we eventually won King and Queen of the Festival. Which was a <laughs> super <laughs> awesome time, yeah. <laughs> King and Queen for a day. Let's not forget where it all started as well. Right. And here, you know, look at that. That, that was, was us on um, the first day that we were towing. Ever. We had just picked up our RV from Donmar RV in South Carolina. And that was our first night in the Airstream. Yep. I backed that in, greased it beautifully, and my father-in-law who was teaching us told me to pull it out and back it in five more times. Yep. We got our experience. And that's their trailer. They had a Excella what year? 20, 1988 25 foot Excella. Yep. Beautiful. And we always appreciate all the help that they've given us over the course of the yeah, years. Yeah, they were basically our mentors. We would not have been able to start as easily as we did. So when you see the checklist and the experience and all the kind of crazy stuff we do with checking tires, yep. that all started with Cindy's parents and they showed teaching us how, us to, how do to do it. Yep. Okay, so we hope you enjoyed that video. Yes. For our friends and family, I hope you enjoyed some of our reminiscing and some of our pictures. And for everybody else, we hope we gave you some ideas and some thoughts as to how you can get the most out of your RV experience once we get RV in again here. Exactly. So if you like this video, give us a big thumbs up. Click to subscribe if you haven't already done so. And comment below if you had some good challenges or some interesting stories we would love to hear from you. Or what you're doing to get ready to RV over this quarantine period. Exactly. We come out with RV and Airstream related videos every Tuesday just like this one. Thanks for watching.